How are you? Great, thank you. Awesome. So you want to tell us what you do in the van? Play guitar and uh, get in trouble. Get in trouble? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Uh, you know, a bit of mischief. Okay. Drink a lot. Sometimes. So what's the wildest thing you've done on tour? The wildest thing I've ever done? If it's easier, we can say this tour. Uh, Jesus, man. It's hard to pinpoint any one thing wild. I think uh fell off the stage once. <laughs> on purpose? Or? Yeah, uh, that was an accident. And okay. I suffered, and I'm still uh, suffering from it. I have three compression fractures in my spine. Wow, that's hardcore. So, um, yeah, you know, I think one of the wildest things probably is uh, getting lost in New Zealand for like you know, a day. I didn't know where I was. It's one of those nights. <laughs> Wake up in a different country, not knowing where you are. Your phone's not working. Definitely. Kind of panicky. Okay, so you guys have like toured the world. Do you have mm -hmm. a favorite place that you've been? Uh, I love Australia. It's really cool. It's wild. It's a big Texas down there. It's, mm -hmm. Everybody's real personable and you know wild and pretty much party. And I like the UK a lot. Like you know, I mean, every place is, is different, and there's things about other countries that I like more than other countries. Like fans are a little bit more. Uh, even keel, you know, no matter where you go, you know, they're, they're all great. Like, but I like, you know, Spain for its food, you know, like the UK for its history, you know, I um, like America, obviously, you know, all over the place here is great. Canada's killer, Mexico, so okay. Thailand's pretty cool, Japan's awesome. Yeah. He's been all over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, now your personal influences, what has influenced you? Growing up, yep. kind of, uh, well, I grew up in a very musical family. Um, my father was a musician, so he kind of fed me that that food, music food, since she was a kid. But I think you know bands like the Beatles and Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath in my earlier years, uh, Kiss, and, you know, and Get Older, and Motley Crue came in, became a big part. Metallica. But I always go back to the classics, you know, Led Zeppelin and the Beatles. You know, that's what I always go back to when I want to you know, get influence and okay. bring back memories. So when you started playing, is that what you originally, like, practiced? Yeah, you know, Zeppelin, a lot, a lot of Zeppelin and Hendrix, you know. Good stuff. You know, when I was really young, you know, eight or nine years old, I was started. You know, Stairway to Heaven was one of the first songs I've ever learned. And, you know, it's, it's kind of complicated. For a nine year old to be playing Stairway to Heaven, but I managed to pull it off. At nine? At nine years old. That's yeah. awesome. I don't, I don't, you know, have any uh, training. You know, I don't, I don't know how to read music. I don't know how to write, like, you know, yeah. physically. You know, I just play by ear and that's, right there. That's cool. That's yeah. awesome. All right, so you want to tell us about the new album? It's called Blood for Blood. Beautiful. Yeah. And, uh, it's kick ass, man. It's uh, it is. to me, it's my favorite record that we've done yet. It's a record I've always wanted to do with this band. Um, when me and Chad first started this, this this idea to have a band, this is the type of music. Like this album is what I always envisioned. I didn't envision alcohol and ass and drink, drank, drunk, and mm -hmm. hell of a time and the party party rock. Yeah, I mean, that was something that kind of just happened, and. Uh, I'm not really uh, too too fond of it, you know. I stand by our albums, but I'm not. It's not something that I would have done naturally. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think this record, you know, because we parted ways with two guys, uh, our other guitar player Greg and, and Bob, the three of us really had to pull together, and our love for each other and this band and our music is what kept us going. And so there was uh, what. I always envisioned this band doing and performing and having the writing the type of music, you know, uh, you know, not to throw our other albums under the bus. Um, our first record was very, you know, very uh, it's the same, very organic and off the cuff and very honest. Uh, the second Stampede and, and then our last record, um, uh, Band of Brothers, there's elements to it that, especially with Stampede, it was very kind of... Uh, experimental type of record where we went outside our comfort zone and, and wrote some songs like, you know, Hell of a Time and, and uh, you know, the more party metal type of stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's not really 
like I was saying, I, you know, it's not who I am. You know, I'm a, I'm a fucking metal dude. You know, I, I'm very aggressive, ag- aggressive type of music is what I like. But also, I like getting somber and quiet with our music, not ballady, but quiet. And you can still be heavy and play quieter, slower songs. It's more of an emotional experience, Definitely. you know, and, uh, you know, the record has that. It's got a lot of balance. It's got a lot of uh, dynamics to it where it gets heavy, it gets heavier and then heavier, and then it brings you back a little bit and gives you like a little bit of the softer side of us, but it's still lyrically and uh, emotionally pretty heavy. So. Like the lyrics are very raw. They are. They're very honest. It's uh, it's Chad being Chad, you know. He put on his 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 Chad hat and didn't put on, you know, the hell yeah hat or or whatever else. You know, this was him being completely naked, emotionally and honest, and Is that the way it's supposed to be. Well, nobody wants to put themselves out there too exactly. much. You know what I mean? And invite strangers and people inside of their lives. You know, but. I find it to be therapeutic, and I also find it to be the real shit, you know what I mean? Like, you know, people don't want, I don't, like, as a, as a fan of music, I'm not into bands that write about themes. Mm-hmm. I like to hear real at reality, you know, I don't want to learn about, you know, I don't need to be taught history lessons or, you know, or, or metaphors, you know what I mean? I want real shit, you know, and I think fans can relate to that, you know, like when he sings in the song, like our song called Hush, you know, musically when I wrote it, it was very homesick, it was very desperate and lonely, and I was missing home badly. And then he comes in and puts on, you know, his, the lyrics that he put down were about his childhood and how he was beaten up and abused as a kid by, you know, a, a relative and, you know, it can re- it relates to people out there, you know, and I think a lot of people will feed off of that. Definitely. You know what I mean? And and you say, you know what? I'm not alone. I I, I share that exact exactly thing. You know, so yeah, I think it's, it's it's being transparent and being honest is the best thing you can do um, anyway in life. You know what I mean? And musically, just artistically, and you know, who yeah. wants to you know kind of replicate everything you've done all over and over and over and over again. You know, we got some fans that are like, you know, yeah, I should, you know, play some of the stuff you used to do. And I'm like, fucking, why? I don't want to fucking eat out of the same plate over and over and over again. Yeah. Okay? Here's, a, here's a pizza, you know, here's a pizza, you know, fucking, how many times can you eat pizza? That's right. You know what I mean? Like, try something different. You know? Definitely. So you guys also just released a new lyric video for Moth. Yes. Is that going to be the next single? Moth is going to be the next single. It's going to come out um, probably at the end of July, I would say, maybe early August. I mean, we're getting it set up. It's going to be a big tune. It's a big yeah. song for us. Love it. A lot of people yeah. are saying that too. And it's it, it means a lot to me as well. It's another one of those songs where, you know, when I was home writing the riffs, you know, I have a, I have a five year old. So, you know, a lot of it was inspired just by life around me, you know, and so musically it took on that. And then Chad, of course, comes in with the yin yang of it all and like writes it about, you know, pretty much everybody is a moth to a flame in some aspect in their life. They always go back to things that they know is going to burn them or hurt, but they keep going back to it. You know what I mean? Whether it's drug addiction or, you know, a battered wife, you know what I mean? It's, It's like, you know, it's not good for you, but you just keep doing it. And it's kind of like a reflection of that. So... I think it, a lot of people can relate to that as well, you know. All right. Well, you got any last words for us? Yeah, go and buy that damn record, man. Blood for Blood. It's out now, and uh, I think it's going to be. I think it's a record that people need to hear, not that you know have to have or listen to. I think it's a record that people need. Definitely. All right, Ash Pop Player, check it out here with Elia. Later, guys. Beautiful, the pieces, the more that you love me.